What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Aloma Kids Online. And for our second week of our series, Wise Up, my name is Miss Cassie, and today I'm here with Pastor Travis. What's up, guys? I'm so excited to see you out there at home again. And I'm excited to check in on Jordan and Zippy, who are two classmates at Springside School, which is probably one of the craziest schools you've ever seen in your life kind of thing. Oh, it sure is. But before we head on over to Springside, I think it's time for us to play a game. Let's play a game. <laughs> All right, so in our vast sea of, of people out here, I do see two hands raised. Let's bring up Maya and Gianna, guys. Why don't you come on up here for a little game of time? All right, give them a great big round of applause. Yeah, all right. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself? Why don't you say your name and your favorite animal? Um, I'm Gianna, and my favorite animal is a dog. That's awesome. All right, next. My name is Maya, my favorite animal is a koala bear. Hey, that's, that's thinking right there. Okay, so today's game, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little trivia, okay? Just to see who's smarter um, kind of thing. So now we're going to do it our way, of course. So I'm going to give you guys each a question. And you each have, oh, I don't know, four or five questions together. And so whichever one of you gets the most questions right... Because, again, this is Loma Kids Online, right? We'll get to grab this water bottle, which we made sure was freezing cold, and throw it on the other one. Cool? Yeah. I <laughs> They're think it sounds fun. Up and down. Which one do you think is going to win? Okay, good deal. So I'm going to open up the water bottle just a little bit. There we go. And let's bring out our trivia questions for today. You guys ready? Dun, dun, okay, dun. sure you are. Here we go. So, first question. Let's go with Yana. You're next to me. So, here we go. Ready? On a standard yes. traffic light. Okay. They're scared already. All right, no. All right, this is an easy one. On a standard traffic light, is the green on the top or the bottom? Oh, my. <laughs> um, on the top. Oh, no. Green is on the bottom. Oh, okay. no. That was not so good. Okay, ready? Ready? Here you go, Maya. Ready? Okay. How many states are there? 51. Ooh, man, way to add one. Okay, so we're zero for zero on both of them. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're doing good, guys. All right, Jen, ready? Here we go. In which hand is the Statue of Liberty's torch? Left. Oh, it's the right. The right hand. Okay, none, none. Okay, here we go. Whew, ready for this one? Ready for this? This is a little tough. When you walk, does your left arm swing with your right or left leg? When you walk, does your left arm swing with your right or your left leg? I'm going to say my right. Oh, we're not doing good. Okay, it's our left. Nice try. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, ready? We just had these up here because last Sunday, like, there was no air conditioning in the, in the building, so it was real hot. So, which way do fans rotate, clockwise or counter counterclockwise? Clockwise. All right, there's one. We got one point. Nice job. All right, ready? You good? Okay, here we go. All right. Do books have an even number of pages on the right or the left side? Oh, think about that. Even number of pages. Is it on the right or the left? On the right. Tough one. Actually, it's the left. Oh! Okay, Gianna's ahead. Here we go. All right, let's try this. Here we go. All right, how many sides are there on a standard pencil? Because, you know, they're little notches kind of thing. How many sides on a standard pencil? Five. Oh, so close. That's actually really close. It's six. It's just, it's not bad. Not bad. All right, ready? This is a good one. You're going to know this. It's going to be amazing. How many lug nuts are on a standard car wheel? What is a lug nut? Standard car. It's what holds your wheel. Oh, never mind. Okay, anyway, standard lug nuts on a car wheel? Six. Oh, the answer is actually five, which if you guys would have switched that, that would have been great. Okay, ready? Here we go. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. Sleepy, happy, sneezy, grumpy, dopey, doc. Who's missing? 
Seven Dwarfs. Oh, oh, I got it. I know. You it. got it. I you better it. get it, Miss Disney. Sleepy, happy, sneezy, grumpy, doc, dopey. Who's missing? Sadie. <laughs> Sadie, that's awesome. All right, Cass, who is it? Bashful. Bashful, there it is. Nice job. Okay, here you go. You can tie this up right here. Does a merry-go-round turn clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Oh, nice. Is right? oh. That is one to one. So we need like a tie breaker here. So let's bring up the tie breaker. You ready for this one? Okay. How many? Or let's do this one. It's a little bit easier. On our flag, right? Our, our American flag. Is the top stripe red or white? Red. Oh, she got it. Maya's our winner. You get to grab the water. I brought a bag just for you to stand on. There you go. So you, you can get water dumped on you. Let's hear from Maya. Everybody say, yay. Grab the water. And ready? Three, two, one. Cold water going down right now. Oh, she's running away. Oh. Well, go get her. Like, that's, yeah, I like it. Anyways, that was awesome. All right. Well, let's give a big round of applause for our contestants. They did an awesome job. Are you guys ready to jump into our Wise Up series? Because I know I am. We have an awesome, awesome series. We're going to be going through principles in the Bible, they're gonna help us to be wise in the choices that we make and how we live our lives. That's exactly right, Cass. Also, we have a memory verse that we've been looking at in the last couple weeks, and hopefully you've learned it. It's a fairly easy one. Comes from our the wisest guy that's probably ever lived, right? <laughs> it's King Solomon. It's found in Proverbs chapter one, verse five. It simply says, let wise people listen and add to what they've learned. And once again, that brings us to what our main point is for right. today, which is, I will add to what I've learned. Oh, that's a good one. And it's so oh, yeah. simple. So we should probably put some motions, motions. to it. Okay, motions. good deal. That way you guys can stand up and help us out with this uh, All right, we motion. got this. We got this. So the okay. first part, I will. I what will. do we got? I will. I, point to your I, no. and then will. Perfect. And then add. Add. Add plus sign. <laughs> oh, I'm having flashbacks of school. Yes. <laughs> we all miss school. At least the parents do. And then to anyway. what? Uh, what was it? To what? To what? To, to what? What? To what? To and then a W. What? Oh, yeah. That is not at all confusing. I've learned. Oh, boy. Uh, I've and learned. So. Yes. Cool. All right. Okay, so I like those motions we a lot. <laughs> so now everybody at home, you guys are going to scream this main point after me and going to follow those motions along with Pastor Travis. All right, we, we got all this, guys. ready? Okay, ready? Here we go. I will. I will. Add. Add. To what? To what? I've learned. I've learned. Good job, everybody. Not We're going to do it one more bad. time. Yeah, come on. You guys one got this. Time. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Triple as loud as that last time. Here we go. Here we go. I will. I will. Good. Hey, listen, while we got you on your feet, it is time to do a little singing and dancing, right? So we've been going through a pandemic. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I think we have a song that will really kind of help us out. It helps us remember that God's love takes care of everything. So while you guys are on your feet, why don't you follow me? Because Cassie's got some ankle problems, so you definitely need to pray for her. We've danced you too much. Maybe. It's been rough. But anyway, DJ Rob is in the back, as always. Why don't you hit it, brother? I won't be afraid, you are with me, you are right beside me every day.
lost and afraid till you found me. Jordan, thank you so much for the piggyback ride. I cannot imagine having to climb 15 flights of stairs every morning. You're telling me I had to carry you up those 15 flights of stairs. It's not like I asked you to do that. Oh, really? What do you call this? Oh, please, Jordan, please, 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 please carry me up those stairs. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember doing that. Really? Okay. Let's go sit down on the rear end scanner so we can take our attendance. I still don't get these things. I mean, how do they know whose rear end belongs to who? It's not like a fingerprint where there's a computer somewhere that tells you whose fingerprint is whose. Unless, do you think there's a computer somewhere that knows whose rear end belongs to who? Just sit down, Zippy. I think you're making a totally big deal when it's not even a big deal. All right. I'm just letting you know I'm not super comfortable with this. Good morning, class. Today is going to be a great day at Springside. Your lunch menu for today is the Springside Special, along with bolognios for dessert. These are some of my favorite. All the deliciousness of bologna inside an Oreo cookie. Yum! You might remember that we learned some wise words last time. They were, wise people listen and add to what they've learned from Proverbs 1-5. I think you've done a great job listening since you've been here at school. But today, you can wise up by listening and then adding to what you have learned. That just means knowing what to do after you hear something new. Enjoy your day at Springside. Hey, did you hear that? I think Eduardo's hungry. Oh, we should go feed him then. Oh man, no wonder he's hungry. He just keeps running around and around and around and around. You sure does, Zippy. Speaking of lunch, did that lunch menu just make your mouth water? Oh, mm. Only if by water you mean throwing up a little bit in your mouth and try not to spit it all over the place. Every time I look at the menu, I try not to gag. What was 
that? I don't know. It's not the elevator, and it's not the chalkboard. Do you think maybe we should ask Mrs. Wise because she's so smart about everything and knows everything that's going on? Yeah, that's a good idea. Miss Wise, what sound, what's the sound when it makes a bling, bling, bling? Great question. That sound is the kitchen timer going off in Chef Cook's kitchen. I'm sure she hears it, but if she doesn't, I guess the Springside special will be burnt to a crisp. <gasps> Maybe next time Chef Cook should put sunscreen on the food. <laughs> burnt lunch, that's terrible. I don't know. Maybe burnt crispiness is exactly what Chef Cook's cooking really needs. I mean, it can't hurt it at all. Burnt may just be the flavor of the day. But you don't understand. Burnt lunch can make the kitchen catch on fire. And the kitchen catching on fire can make the whole school catch on fire. What are we going to do? I, I, I mean, I'm really not that worried because lunch doesn't sound good. But 15 flights of stairs is a ton to run down. Fire drill positions! Go! Stop, jump and roll! Get, hide! Hide! Zippy? What are you doing? Uh... I'm in fire drill position. What are you doing? I'm doing what you're supposed to do. All you're doing is hiding underneath the desk. Do you think the fire's not going to be able to find you because you're underneath the desk? Well, at least I had a plan. Even if it won't work. There's the sound again. What should we do? I don't know. Maybe go to the elevator? I wish the elevator could take us to the kitchen. Oh. There's the elevator! Jordan, I think you activated the elevator by telling it where you wanted to go. Hold on, here we go! Oh yeah, we're definitely in the kitchen. Can you smell the cooking? Chef Cook, Chef Cook, are you in here? Well, hello there. You just caught me in the middle of resetting my kitchen timer. You see, lunch is almost three times burnt. That's when it reaches perfection. The trick is to set your timer for when lunch will burn the first time, then do that again and again. That's my secret way of cooking. No one else does cooking like Chef Cook. It took me a while to add this secret to what I learned about cooking. It all started back when I was a young chef. I went to a summer camp with my friends Stir Fry and Coleslaw. We took a cooking class together and I learned so much about cooking. Our teacher would always tell us to remember Proverbs 1.5. Wise people listen and add to what they've learned. Oh, and I listened all right. I listened to what my teacher said, and then I did it every time I cooked something. In fact, that's where I came up with the recipe for the Springside Special that you'll be having today. Sometimes at camp, my whole team would go on to the next activity, but I would just stay behind with my teacher and ask questions. I took all the answers I got and added them to what I had learned by writing things down in my cookbook, storing them in my brain, and then making those recipes later on. I even learned how to make all healthy food taste like junk food. Like when you take a bite of the Brussels sprouts that I cook, they actually taste like chocolate. And peas taste like gummy bears. Speaking of gummy bears, I have to finish getting lunch ready. You know what? While I'm finishing here in the kitchen, you guys should play a super fun game. I'll send you the instructions right now. Cook's gotta be cooking. Bye, y'all. Hey, look, it's Chef Cook's instruction book. Hey, wait, really quick, before we get going with one of her crazy games, did she really just say that she's going to purposely burn our food three times? 
I mean, yeah, her cooking's always good, and she learned it all from camp, so let's not doubt. Okay. Her. Okay. So, it says that we need to have two people up here to play the game. Two people. All right. Looking around for two people. Who wants to play? Oh, we've got two. Come on up here. Come on up. Really quick. Before we get going, I am going to ask you guys your name, and then I want to know what your favorite, since it's lunchtime, what's your favorite kind of healthy food? So, what's your name? Maya. All right, Maya, what is your favorite food? Papaya. Maya likes papaya. All right, that's yeah. good, that's good. All right, what's your name? Gianna. Gianna, what rhymes with Gianna? Gianna, what's your favorite food? Pineapple. <laughs> All right, Gianna likes pineapple. Maya likes papaya. All right. All right. So because Maya likes papaya, she's coming on my team. All and right. Because Gianna likes pineapple and you look like a pineapple, she'll just go on your team. All right. Very good. All right. So what do the instructions say? So pretty much what it says is we'll have a lunch person and then the person who's in lunch. So whoever's in lunch has to catch all the healthy foods on their trays. And the lunch person has to look in their paper bag and shout it out. Uh -huh. uh, healthy food or junk food. If there's a healthy food, then the person with the tray turns around and tries to catch it on their tray. And if they say a junk food, well, they're not going to turn around. But we'll still have to throw it anyway. All and right. And then once everything's done, We'll have to count whoever, see who's the winner, and if a food drops on the ground, then it stays on the ground. All right, let's do this. So, there is your tray, there is your tray. Miss Gianna, you stand over by Miss Papaya. All right, so you guys turn around real quickly, and I am gonna call out, let me get on my side, and you gotta grab it, you gotta grab it with that. All right, Doritos! Good, good job. All right. Chips. Kit Kat. No. Um, uh. Apple. Zebra cake. Okay, good, good. Kit um, Kat. Uh, oh gosh. Apple. Kobe. All right, got it. Uh, oh. Um, broccoli. broccoli. Oh, yeah! Oh, and I dropped some cookies! Cake! And that's it, that's all I got. Cookie! Oh. <laughs> all right, let's turn around and see who won. Two to two. Man, it's a tie. All right, really quickly. Sugar is a carbohydrate, a protein, or a fat? Go. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate, we win! Woo! Yes! Good job. Give your hands for Gianna and Maya. Mm. Yeah, good. Good job. Oh my goodness. Jordan, Chef Cook, Chef Cook wasn't lying. This broccoli tastes like Skittles. Speaking of food, I am hungry. Let's get, let's go to lunch and we can get the first serving and we'll get the big servings. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh man, that was awesome. And you know what would be so cool is if like healthy food like broccoli actually did taste like candy. That would be amazing. I mean, how many of you guys would think that would be awesome, right? I, I do. No, it tastes like broccoli. I don't <laughs> like broccoli. Anyway, hey, listen, before we leave today, make sure you eat a piece of broccoli. But let's also go through what we've learned, all right? What was that that Miss Weiss told us earlier that was so important? Oh wait, it was to add to what we've learned. But what does that look like? Maybe you guys can take a moment as a family and think about what you think it looks like to add to what we've learned. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And here's the thing, right? Let's think back to our story that Miss Wise talked about, right? She was at camp, and what did she do? She asked a ton of questions, right? But what did she do with the answers? Did she just dismiss them, or did she actually think, okay, now that I have the answer to these questions, how do I apply it? So in your discussion, why don't you begin to talk about how important it is 
to apply what we've learned, because that's what we were saying it really means to add to what we learned. I mean, it's great to memorize. That's cool. But man, real wisdom comes when we begin to apply that. That is so important, Pastor Travis. And when we listen to what God says in the Bible, we can learn what the right thing is and put that into actions to help us make the right choices. That's right, and that's what we're really here about, right, is making those right choices. So this week, guys, as a family, why don't we right now maybe talk about things that we can do, but throughout the week, let's make sure that we listen to what God is teaching us, which best way to do that, right? Open up the Bible. Begin to read through. And I mean, it could be as easy as obeying our parents, right? God talks about that. So kids, when your parents say, hey, hey, time to clean your room, let's go ahead and do that. Because man, when we begin to listen to God and we begin to apply what God is teaching us in his word, I guarantee that's when we can live the best life possible for us. Well, I had a super awesome time here today. I hope you guys did too. And I also hope to see you back here next week for Wise Up. See you guys. Have a great week.